My dear friends, the world gives us peace, but a kind of peace that does not last. The peace it offers is always temporary for the simple reason that the peace it gives is subject to present and emerging circumstances. If external factors are favorable, worldly peace flourishes. But if situations are adverse, worldly peace becomes truly elusive. The absence of war or disturbance, for instance, is easily threatened by domestic violence and or international conflicts. Knowing that China is always bullying us, knowing that the international community is, communities are threatening each other with nuclear power, we cannot help it but question ourselves, will there still be peace? Personal tranquility can easily succumb to the distress of life's problems and frustrations. That's the reality, and we have to accept it. However, my dear friends, in today's gospel, we are told Christ offers us a kind of peace that lasts. Why? Because this kind of peace is more internal. This kind of peace is derived from our closeness with Christ. Please find time to pray over Ephesians chapter 2, verses 14 to 16. This kind of peace, my dear friends, lasts. Why? Because this peace is strengthened by the conviction that our God is Emmanuel. He will always be with us. And so as a result, this kind of peace can coexist side by side with life's trials and tribulations. Una kabantay mo nato mga Kristohano, natay problema, pero pwede ra nga deep down inside we are at peace because we know we are doing the will of God. And so my dear friends, we have this conviction that not even the threat of death can take away this kind of peace. For this reason, we beg the Lord to help us appreciate this gift of peace. And this gift of peace, we give to each other, especially during this gathering, especially when we say to each other, peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Mga the present life is already troublesome. Do you agree with me? The present life is already troublesome. But it can turn for the worse if we neglect the person and the message of Christ. The choice is ours to make.